Oh my god. This is this is exciting. This is exciting. Ofana is this good? Why are you ambitious? But he's that good. We're in for a very good time. I'm actually certain of it now. Oh my god. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jella TV. I'm JLab and this is Football Manager 2021, the Youth Academy Challenge. And look at this, look at this youth intake. It is perhaps the strongest we've had in a while. And I'm so excited for it because it's so strong. We've got Fofana who can be in many, many positions, can play at, can play at the rise, can play in the middle can play as a striker in a deep line forward position and a pressing forward on attack. He can do it on attack. He, I don't want to do it in defense or support. His first in passing though, he's definitely a deep line forward. One way or the other, on attack or support. It is wonderful. He's the perfect player in that position, but he's only 15. We can't just throw him straight into the, into the deep end. We got Carlucci as well. Look at him. A no-nonsense defender. But I'm going to be using him as a central defender. No surprise there. He's goth. He's also... I wouldn't say he's going to be someone we can use as a ball win defender. Or ball playing defender. So we need to actually say central defender for him. Another good player for that position. Magalini. Look at this goalkeeper. Very, very good. He is one of many goalkeepers now that we've got in our locker. That is going to be very, very good to develop going forward. I'm excited for this. Fairly professional as well. Because Sadagay, look at this guy. He is good. A winger, yes, but he's still someone we can use as a centre midfielder if we needed to. He's a box to box midfielder if we needed him to be. Actually, I like the box to box idea. This is even more exciting. So we've now got something we can do here. He's committed, but he's not ambitious. So we need to get his determination up to more than four. We need to get him doing well because his strength is three, his determination is four. If we get the strength up, that's great. If his determination gets better, he's even more impressive. And that's exciting to say the least. We've got Russo, we've got Rosso, and this guy. They say he's a defensive winger, but I think he can be a winger too on the side if we needed to have someone on that formation. He's not as good. Surprisingly, he's only he's not as good in this area, but I think maybe we can use him. He's very exciting. He's got acceleration on his side. We've got Zuli too, who we can play on all wingers or all wings, and we can play him. As a pressing forward on support and maybe a deep line forward as well. So this guy's got a lot of potential. Look at the flair of 15. His strength 25, yes, but he's on again unambitious. It's an issue we need to look into, I think. We got Brusoni as well. This guy is good. He can play in the wings on both sides. I'm not sure if I really want him to be a defensive winger, even if he's if he is potentially better than that position. I don't know. He's just we can do more of him, I feel. We just got to do something with him, hopefully, very, very soon. And look at... It's just great. And here's a thought. They already want me to bring Fofana into the first team. That is surprising. He's already considered a first team candidate. We've not even had him for a day. We've only had him for, what, a day? And they already think they're high of him? A bit much, isn't it? Wouldn't you say? So now we're on March the 25th, 2026. And we're doing quite well. We had a few games to do last minute. Shall we see how we got on? So we had our first game, it was away from home against Perugia, and we were not at our best. I'm just going to say who now, this goal, Fofi with the first goal, and it was not great. We then considered a second in the 67th minute of the game, Sofi involved again, this time for Fada, for the Luca, and this goal, the last goal, the horrifyingly bad goal that we considered here, was just heartbreaking for me because I thought we could do better than this. But now Doza just breaks my heart, and because he hits ball forward into the defender's face. Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me, you absolute pillock? The worst part is we actually had eight shots. We just didn't do much with them, and that was the worst part. So if we'd done better with these shots, we're good. This formation might be a Sunday seat's end, but again, again, away from home, we're just really bad. So that's the thing. We then took on Arizo, and we lost this game 2-1, but we did put up a fight, and this goal just really annoyed me because it hits the defender, and they just get completely called out. It's annoying. We did get a goal, though, in the 
fifth minute of the game after Farkas, who just came up on the bench, finds Rokas, who scores his equaliser. I thought it was a good finish. But they did get a late winner. I say late. It's 77 minutes into the game. And, yeah. Kakin, it just does that. And I was very disappointed. Yes, we were lucky to get a goal because we only had three shots, two on target. But we should be doing better than this. We deserve to be beaten, quite frankly. They had a goal ruled out. We had a goal ruled out as well. The goal we had ruled out was actually a pretty nice goal. It's just a shame it didn't count. But again, we weren't the best. We deserve to lose this game. The next game was actually pretty good for us. We actually won against a team that we were supposed to be beaten against. And like the goal we could see in the first goal against Arizo, we actually got very lucky this time ourselves to take the lead out of Fantosi fans at the back of the net. But they get an equaliser after Borelli scores that goal. And that's a pretty good finish. But then we score in the 95th minute of the game. DiBiase finds Banny, who finds Scarpato, and at that point, we would won. We, there's no coming back from that. I was happy to take a point, but they went above and beyond and got all three, and I was absolutely thrilled for it. Shows you just how late we can leave it sometimes. I was delighted for it because it was easily our best match. We then went to Lachese Lepetez and we actually got a point. We weren't at our best, but then again, neither were they. Only two shots on target and seven shots in the game, which should tell you how bad this game was. So, enough said about that, really. The less about this game, the better, quite frankly. And it is what it is. We then took on Sem Badaveste, and we lost this game thanks to this effort, which I was a bit annoyed by because I felt we could have done more. And Palmisamo, or Palima. Palmis, Pal Misano, Pal Misano scored that goal to get them all three points, and we deserve at least something. So I was a bit disappointed we couldn't get a point here, but we really should be beating San at this day. I'm just going to say that at this point, but it, that's beside the point at this stage. If we don't take our chances, we're not going to score, and that's the end result of this one. But where's it all this left us in the league? So as a result of those latest fixtures, we're now in 8th place after 32 matches. We've already equaled the highest amount of points we've ever gained a few years ago, which is saying a lot that 51 points is our highest ever. But we now need to go forward and do well in the next 6 games to avoid being a team that just messes up every time and again. Because we're now in 8th place, we're only 2 points clear of Taramo. We're six points clear of Lachesis Lepetez, so that's a good thing for us. But we have Prato next. And in a very, very nice touch, there's something else that's happening in this game. It is also my 200th game in charge. So yes, we are enjoying our 200th game in charge of the club. And I'm excited for this because I don't know what to expect. 200 games in charge. And we could be going for playoff place. And we've just got a really good intake. It's almost the perfect time to stop and to come back for a video. So we've got a few games left this season. We've got Prato, then we've got uh, then we got Silva Messi. We've got Taramos then afterwards, followed by Rimini and Livorno. So two teams in the relegation playoffs and the relegation zone. We've got a team that we need to be beating to avoid slipping up. We've got two teams in the top half of the playoff positions. And then we've got Pontadere. So a team... So this is a kind fixture run, three teams trying to avoid relegation, a team that's trying to sneak into the playoffs, and two teams that are currently in the playoffs. So this could not have been a nice a draw for us. So once we have this game, we'll be going to the end of the season to see where we are. If there's a point that we've already secured, I'll do a playoff game as well. But this game against Prato, we need to be winning. And I think we only did we beat them? Yeah, we beat them earlier this season, so we need to continue that run. And we've got some players out on international duty. is actually back from injuries, so that's a good sign. But Alioni's out on international duty and injury. Rokas is also out on international duty as well. They're returning on the 29th, which means they won't be back until after these two games. So it's a bit annoying, but it also gives me a chance to rotate the front and to give... A chance to some of the other players that probably wouldn't get the game time otherwise. And also, we can just look at the youth intake afterwards and just say, okay, here we go. We've got all these players that can come through. I need to win this. Because if we don't win this, it'd be slightly embarrassing. They got a throw. I'm not happy about this. 
because I don't have the best of luck with these early goals going against us, it seems, like the moment. We get the ball, but we're... Oh my god, they've only put it over. That was an opportunity they should have taken. Banny with a free kick. He can do really well with these free kicks. And it's been denied. Oh, who took that? Who's, who took the effort? I can't tell. It's annoying. But they can play this forward and hit us on the break because we're not going to get back there quickly. But we get the ball again. Scarpato, Antonucci, Campinoni, and Laneri now on the ball. Here's Fantosi. Finds Banny. Can play it out wide to Martino. He can do something with this. Play in the middle. Go on. It's gone to one of my players somehow, and he's only been done by the keeper. I'm not sure if it's the fake keeper or the defender that stopped us, but that was a bit annoying that we didn't get a goal there. This is the first time I've seen in this half, and Banny will take the free kick, and it's gone straight to the goalkeeper. I don't know what they're doing, but this has been disappointing so far. I'm going to watch them score. They're going to score, aren't they? I can't believe it. We're losing to a team in 19th place. We can't afford to lose this. What are we doing? What are we even doing at this point? I can't... Oh, for goodness sake. We're literally falling down. We could be falling out the playoffs again. We can't do this again. This has literally been the best season for us to do this. And we're losing against a team that's in a relegation fight. Again. And they're literally about to do it again, aren't they? Lorenzi, I, I can't. I cannot cope with this. Stupidity once more. Surely we're not going to screw it away from home again. We've done it. We've actually lost away from home in a 200th game charge. I've... Oh. I can't believe they've done this. I'm absolutely ups... Oh. I've got... I just... Look at how close it is now between ourselves and Perugia. December de Desta are literally behind us in goal difference. Always up screen teams. And then now, the Chester's and Libertas are only three points behind us too. We cannot afford to drop this. We cannot afford to drop this again, surely. And actually, I don't think that means Prasso can actually are now within the points they need to survive and make it at the playoffs. That's actually very ironic. Oh, we've dropped the ball again. Can't believe this. Oh my god, I just realized how bad a run form is. We've only taken four points in the last six matches. We... I might have to talk to the players. Yeah, we, yeah, we have to do this. I'm literally going to have to say, this is what I need to do now, just to say, because we should have done this before this game, if anything. Maybe I left it too late. Christ. All right. Um, so we're going to actually end this here. Five games left. I'm going to play four of them before we meet up. And I'm just going to say, this is a concern that we've just lost Prato, who've actually just relegated poorly. So that's a thing. Um, minus 80 goal difference. What? How many goals have conceded? 99. Okay, they've conceded 99 goals, and they've got five games to go. This is embarrassing. Just saying. Anyway, gonna end this here. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves. Hope you guys like, guys like and share this video, and uh, you'll subscribe to my channel. It really does help me a lot. Until next time, goodbye, and good night.